I don't mean any disrespect to anybody right now, but I'm pretty hungry, so let's no disrespect, but I let's <laughs> now nah, let's speed through this, but like let's yeah. Uh, my wife told me not to use lovely to y'all anymore, so um I'll try to think of some other uh, superlatives uh to describe the moments that have uh gone on the last two days three days um you know it's been exciting it's been nerve-wracking it's been a little awkward a little weird uh just being back at home you know it's my second time being in barclays i've been going to do game and um you know it just wasn't ideal so uh i was just trying to be in the moment be there for my teammates more importantly and um you know, just do what I could to just settle everybody in the crowd. You know, it was just going to get a little crazy regardless. So when I stepped in, um, hugged Joe, uh, hugged Ali, you know, hugged my teammates at halftime. Didn't know we were going to get fined uh, and things were going to transpire again. But, um, you know, we're, we're such a, a close group that I think at this point we're ready to deal with whatever comes our way. And uh, we talk about it, keep everything internal as best we can. And then, um, you know, just make decision moving forward as a group. But, uh, you know, just didn't want to take up all the attention. Obviously, K had 53. And then moving on till tonight, you know, going again, it, it just shows you, like, we're on our way to history. Um, and uh, in order to make history, some things are just not going to go your way, but you just got to be able to battle through it. Yeah, somebody told me on the bench what it was. Um, you know, and I'm I'm just grateful it came in the flow of the game. You know, a few shots probably I shouldn't have taken. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, tough ones, you know, double teams, triple teams coming. But, uh, you know, as long as I could do it with a smile on my face and, and my teammates weren't too angry at me, it, it made uh, this night uh, worthwhile. It was just about the team, really, just like getting in a flow. That's the true pure purity of this game is uh, doing it. Uh, efficiently doing it on both ends of the floor and then coming out with the W. So I'm just glad that it wasn't an empty 50 plus game and, and we could go uh, back home and, and just get things started again tomorrow. Making history, man, making history and, uh, you know, doing it, that guy is very special. Uh, but again, you know, credit goes to our group. It's just really how close we are. You know, these our guys in our locker room, they they really believe in us. They really rock with us. There's not a doubt in our mind that they really believe that we can do something special and not just this year, but for years to come. You know, we have we have a good group and we're all sacrificing something that's bigger than ourselves. So when we come into the locker room, we just enjoy being with each other and playing the game that we love. Being with each other, you're going to be at the game tomorrow and you have to find out. Yeah, I'll be doing what you guys do. I'll probably wear a media pass, man. Just start asking questions, start doing things, <laughs> start doing other things around the game, man. Having fun, bringing you know camera and stuff. Start taking pictures on the sideline and start asking you guys questions in the media scrum and stuff like that. How you feel about tonight? Man? But who knows, man? But uh, tomorrow to see what happens. What is it like sitting courtside watching? your team play and not being able to play? I mean, it's not the best feeling in the world. It's a little awkwardness, but, uh, you know, showing up there with my family and getting uh, a warm embrace from New York, uh, Brooklyn, you know, just everybody that's there to support the Nets and support our organization and uh, support me uh, and, and just support what's going on out here and want to see a change. It, it's just I'm, I'm grateful that I'm not alone in this pursuit right now and uh my teammates have my back the organization have my back and um you know so going there is you know i just feel like i'm just a casual fan uh driving to the game and um you know hopefully i, I don't have to feel like this as much anymore this whole time that mandate is full back are you any more or less confident going into these last couple of weeks than you have been recently that you'll be able to yeah, absolutely. I mean, my faith in uh, things turning around hasn't changed. It hasn't wavered. Um, but, 
I, I wouldn't be able to sit up here and talk to you guys comfortably unless I had a, a big supporting group behind me. And, um, you know, they've been selfless this whole time. You know, who would have thought in the beginning of the season that we would be dealing with the same questions over and over again every day. And, and I know it got tiresome for my teammates, tiresome for people in the organization. And I just commend all of us for just really making a choice to come closer together and just deal with this, man. We're dealing with it face on. So whatever is going on um, outside of what we can control, that's that's what happens. But what we can is is just showing up every day and, and knowing that we're all sacrificing something to be here. No fear, man. No distractions. Stay focused. You know, really simple phrase right there. No fear, no distractions and straight focus. And that's a reminder to not only just basketball, but just life. And, uh, you know, just really having the faith in God to persevere. Last three, you made a 60, you looked up, pointed to the sky, and you said something. What was it that you said and what was your mindset? I didn't say anything. I, w I was just really grateful. Uh, and there's nothing but gratitude in my heart uh, when I get a chance to perform and do what I do. Uh, you know, if anything, of missing time this season has taught me just to put things in perspective and not take anything in life for granted. You know, things that I love have been taken away from me and I've had to deal with it just like everyone else in this room. You know, things have been taken away. So, uh, you know, as you walk with faith and you know that there are going to be uncomfortable times and uh, you just can't have fear and, and just be led by that, the energy of God and just let everything else fall into place. Yeah, probably the air ball. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I was like, ah. I don't usually shoot these type of shots, but I'm going to just get in my Kobe bag real quick and live with the results. <laughs> Triple team, uh, you know, coming at me. And I just looked over at the coaching staff and they were just like, keep playing. But uh, one of those moments and then getting it uh, in transition and just seeing how many defenders were in, in front of me at that time. And, uh, you know, when you're a kid scoring a bunch of points, it means something. But when you're in the best league in the world, doing it against the, the greatest athletes that are playing our game, you know, it means a little bit more. And, um, you know, just that competition level, it just it just comes out of me. And, and I appreciate it because the, the team that I have in that locker room, they just really, really give me that energy, man. And uh, the only time I get a chance to play on the road, I better come out and uh, have, you know, give everything I have. So just moments. Yep. Appreciate y'all.